going to let it go. Probably wasn't even going to clear the net. Garris, the long back set, and the kill for Van Zandt. Kill by Kristen Van Zandt for Washington. Van Zandt deserves. Kristen now with nine kills on 28 attempts. And the number nine up is Paige Hubble. Paige Hubble will come on for Brookheis. Yep, Brookheis again out. That means essentially no back row attack for Nebraska, so they have... Hannah Worth on the left, and Haggerty coming around to the right. Just two hitters, one at each sideline. It's There's Haggerty. She has it blocked, so I'll try Worth instead. Off the tape, off her head, and out. Just uh, using the equipment and <laughs> the head of the libero there to get that ball down. Some challenging plays, though. Washington was such a strong block and trying to beat it with only two hitters. Nelson wide point, Nebraska there within one. Timeout, Huskies. Well, Nebraska has taken four of the last five points to get back close. Well, the NCAA National Semifinals will be Thursday night, December 13th. They'll start at 7 Eastern on ESPN2. And the National Championship match, Saturday, December 15th at 7 o'clock Eastern on ESPN2. For more information, visit NCAA.com. Your home for all 89 NCAA championships. Oregon, Penn State, Southern California, all winners tonight to advance to the Elite Eight. And the winner of this match will get the Oregon Ducks tomorrow night. A rematch of the 05 National Championship. A win for Washington. Nebraska beating UW in the 2008 Region Final. Jim McLaughlin still calls it the toughest loss he's ever had. And then in the Regional Semi in 2010 up in Seattle. When... UW won, and the coaches had a verbal spat post game. Lots on the line. I think the programs have only faced each other a total of four times, but every time it's season or go home. Well, in that 2008 match, Washington had Nebraska to zip, and the Huskers came back to win it to come back home to play. Two zip and nine to three in the fifth game, then gave up nine unanswered points. Nebraska comes storming back, and then they almost pulled the same miracle comeback yep. just five days later against Penn State that had not lost a single set all season. Worth yet another dig. She's close to 20 now and a point for Nebraska to tie it up. And Washington is struggling to try to find the kill. They have no middle attack. So they're, they too are trying to beat three blockers with two hitters. A hitter on one sideline in front of the center and a hitter on the other sideline behind. Worth serves to the Libro. Out wide, good coverage down the line on the swing from Gabby Parker. Again, they'll look to the outside, and Nelson hits it long. Blockers aren't even bothering going to the middle. Nope. And if I were Nebraska's blockers, I wouldn't pay much attention either. They are just Washington not setting Amanda Gill, not known for her offense. Her forte is blocking. But it's not keeping those blockers very honest. 6-1 run here to take the lead. And that's a good reason why they're not trying to run that's not the play a bad choice by the center she's off the net and blind to that quick hitter no surprise that there's no connection there you've had a couple of different setters in the match you haven't had a lot of attempts for your middles 
And they came unglued a bit on that play as Nebraska now has taken charge. That's part of the reason why Washington doesn't have as good a middle attack is because each setter, each quarterback only gets to play half yep. the game. So they don't get as much rhythm as a Nebraska might with a Lauren Cook on the floor the whole time. Of course, the winner tonight facing the team that won earlier, the Oregon Ducks, who had their best regular season ever, second place in the Pac-12, player of the year in the Pac-12. And for the first time in school history, they will be playing in the regional final and looking for a berth in the national semis. The Ducks awaiting the winner of this one. And Washington's going to have to turn it around. Otherwise, it will be Nebraska. I think Jim Moore is calling all his friends back in Eugene. Hey, how about a little help? We need some green. <laughs> we need some green here in Omaha. There's a lot of red right now. And sure, they might be able to stay that way. They might be able to come up with a few uniforms at that school, right? Doesn't the football team have about 500 combinations? I am totally <laughs> expecting them to come out in a different unit yeah, exactly. for the region final. We will be disappointed if they don't. Let's just put it that way. <laughs> oh, the Ducks are ready to go tomorrow night. Will it be Nebraska joining them in a regular season that has been dominated by the Big Ten and the Pac-12? That is what the Elite Eight is shaping up to be as well. Could be seven of the eight teams from those two conferences. Guaranteed one from this match. And Oregon and Penn State and Guaranteed USC. West Lafayette. Setting Strickland outside, just had to push it over, and Cook just missed it. She had it, but missed it. It was open. So Washington trying to beat Nebraska with two players at the net. No middle attack. Nebraska now trying to beat the Washington, the strong block of Washington, with two hitters at the net, Haggerty and Mancuso. Cook, Haggerty, sent back by Strickland. Looking at Mancuso, off the fingertips. What a smart play by Mancuso. Instead of ripping it, she did not have the advantage. She was about 10 feet off the net here. She taps it into the block, the left hand of the middle blocker, number five for Washington, Melanie Wade, and gets the tool and kill. Strickland, antenna, point Nebraska. Four points from the match. So you can't get it from Strickland. Likely they'll go behind and try Kaylee Nelson. That's, they're going to one sideline or the other. There's Nelson. Right at Worth again. 20th dig of the night for Hannah Worth. Strickland got it. Point you up. Strickland made the, na the same nice adjustment that Mancusa made the play before. Take a little off it, wait till the block's coming down a little, space opens up. Katie Beals. Just get it across the net. Mancuso. Long. It is long. Point Washington. Both these teams again playing two on three. You got Mancuso and Tramer at the net. If Nebraska can get a good pass, they might be able, and that's letting them off the hook. You want to score, you want to keep the ball in the court when Lauren Cook is in the front row and Morgan Brookheis is out of the game, but now Brookheis back in the opposite. The offensive power for Nebraska. Ninth service error tonight for Washington. Cook. Wade in the middle, brought up by Dykstra. Munoz got it. To 25, have to win by two. She got three, at least three points her last turn. She can easily finish this set out right here on this series. Strickland to Dykstra. Cook looking to Brookheis. Van Sant. Worth kept it alive. Free ball. 
Back out to Van Sant. Good. Ties it up at 22. The Huskers have one timeout. John Cook decides to use it. Tied for the seventh time at 22 apiece. Nebraska three points from the match. Washington three points from forcing a fourth set. And it's a difficult situation because you have Cassie Strickland at the line. She's hitting her serve hard. Nebraska doesn't want to pass it over the net, so they have to be careful and keep it off so then they won't get to run as good an offensive set. Likely, they'll either set Gina Mancuso behind the setter or Morgan Brookheis, who's not as powerful, not as good out on, on that side with her left hand over on the far side. Winner will get Oregon tomorrow night. The Ducks beating BYU three to one. Neither team has hit the ball real well tonight. Gina Mancuso's 13 kills leading Nebraska, 10 for Van Sant. Nebraska barely over 200 hitting. Washington is sub 150 tonight. And Cook called that timeout was to ice the server, like icing the free throw shooter. A hard server like Strickland. Let's see how she does out of the timeout. Takes some off of it. Cook the back set, Mancuso. The block is wide. Point yeah. Huskers. Wow, that was so close. Vincent had that. Her hands were all over that, but she didn't turn that left hand in, that outside hand, and it went three inches out of bounds. Mancuso with a tough serve, Van Sant. Nice up by Mancuso. Worth no. The dig by Strickland. Block at the net. Cook going to Brookheis. And it's match point Nebraska. Remember, Washington fought off 14 of them in one match against Oregon. And they know that. They've fought off match points in four different matches. Advantage Washington right now because they're going to receive the serve. Van Sant. Got a touch. And now they have one more match point here because it's must win by two. And they got Gill at the net. They've got to like Washington does the blocking alignment. Cook, Brookheis, and it's over! 